So, I've got another absolute banger today for you, all based around Le Monarch, and I'm going to feature a chess piece called Mantle of Battle Harmony. Le Monarch does poison damage. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to get the best out of the uh, crit damage, and on top of that, I'm going to show you how to get an absolutely huge increase on the poison damage as well with Mantle of Battle Harmony. I've got all sorts going on, and don't forget this bow is an absolute beast. We're going to be able to take full control of overloads it's the king of overload bows king of overload stay tuned it's a void bow uh, it's probably one of the best uh, exotic sponge you've ever created uh, like i said it's void what it does arrows fired quickly after a full draw become poison arrows precision hits with these arrows they're going to stun the combatants and spread poison to nearby targets so if you manage to get a kill with it which you will do uh, that poison is going to spread to anything nearby and cause loads and loads of extra poison damage. Now, by far the best exotic to run with this on a warlock is Mantle of Battle Harmony. What it does, takedowns with weapons that have a damage type that match your subclass element grant you super energy. While you have super energy is full, so when your super energy is full, instead of getting that super energy gain, you're instead going to get a bonus damage to weapon, your weapon damage. So... The interesting thing with this and Le Monarch, it actually improves obviously the crit damage, the actual arrow, but it actually improves the poison damage as well. Uh, and the way I've got this build set up, with all the extra damage, you're going to get loads and loads of extra poison, poison damage. Uh, and then it works, like I said, it does work really nice, well, nicely with the Mantle of Battle Harmony because that will increase the poison damage as well. So it improves the crit and it improves the poison damage as well. So it's probably. The best chess piece you can run, uh, the best exotic on a warlock for a Le Monarch build, it's super super strong. Uh, I just want to show you a couple of these mods that I like to run now. Uh, Reaping Wellmaker, what that does, every time I put my rift down, I'm going to spawn a void elemental while on my next weapon kill, it doesn't even have to be a void weapon. And then I'm running Seeking Wells, so then wells are going to travel towards me nicely. And then with a Mantle of Battle Harmony build, what you want to be doing is you really want to be getting your super up as quick as, quick as possible to take advantage of that extra damage. So getting that extra 20% damage on the Mantle of Battle Harmony with Font of Wisdom, with Font of Wisdom maxes your intellect out. So there's another one that I like to run as well, which is called uh, Font of Might, which gives me a 25% damage increase. You run these both, so not only are you getting a max intellect, you're also getting a 25% percent damage increase as well so it's super nice little combo uh, and then on top of that we may as well throw on volatile rounds on there as well all stack into the damage with echo of instability as long as you get a kill with your grenade you're going to get all sorts going on 25 percent from font of might 20 percent from your mantle of battle harmony and then on top of that you're going to have volatile rounds and there's even a little bit more than that as well because you can run Child of the Old Gods on the Warlock, the old trusty Void Sucker, and that's going to apply a 15% debuff as well. And this all stacks together to get some humongous poison damage. Uh, single target, so if you manage to kill the target, that's going to spread the poison or the poison will just stay on the same guy as long as you hit that fully drawn shot. So that's what you want to be looking out for on that bottom left, the absorption cells, that's the Mantle of Battle Harmony perk once you've got your full super. Every time you get a kill with your Monarch or a Void Weapon, that absorption cells is going to kick in, that's a 20% damage increase. And the way the Monarch works in this build, you're going to see that absorption cells up all of the time, it's solid. So these are like sort of situations where you're going to see, I'm going to get loads and loads of yellow numbers. I've already put my child of the old gods down, so that's applying that debuff. I'm getting loads and loads of yellow tick numbers. And then this sort of scenario here, this is all GM bosses and they're not like really tanky, but these just go down like like really, really fast, like crazy. You're gonna see that absorption cells going all the time. And this sort of setup with Mantle of Battle Harmony, that poison just absolutely chews for enemies. And it absolutely deletes and fully controls overloads with ease. And I, and I mean that, it's like with ease, really, really easy. And then on top of that, you've got that volatile going on also as well. The actual support play of the build itself I'm running is really nice because I've all got absolutely loads going on to show you. I've got some more fragments to show you, but Child of the Old Gods on its own, that's giving you and your teammates that 15% debuff. It's really, really nice. I'm also running the Weakening Grenade as well, 
So I'm going to break that all down to show you, but again, these are more clips just to show you how solid this build is. Uh, I've tried a couple of different exotics with uh, Le Monarch. I mean, Nezarek Sin's pretty good as well, uh, but definitely for damage, pure damage, you, you want to be on that Mantle of Battle Harmony. Now, just look at the state of this clip here. As you come into it, there's two overloads, and you're going to see that absorption cells again kicking in there, and that's the extra damage that you're going to do, and it's just going to keep these two pinned in. And I've hit him with my weakening grenade. I've got the child of the old gods on there. And these are just getting absolutely earned. They're getting destroyed. Uh, so it's really, really solid little setup. And it's ideal for this week's GM as well. Devil's Lair. It's absolutely perfect. Because there's at the end you get these pesky void servitors. You get a couple of overloads towards the end. And as you can see there, I'm just stood behind that box. And I'm keeping that overload stun there. And on top of that, I'm able to keep applying that void uh, damage to them little mini mini eyeballs to keep them sort of off keep these shields off them as well So it's really really nice. So loads of void debuffs going on. I use a vortex grenade with echo of undermining uh, That uh, is always going to get your volatile rounds going and it also applies a 15% debuff as does your child of the old gods And if you notice there, I'm using a rocket launcher a void rocket launcher if you can find one of them about will last an impression uh, That's just another really nice addition to the sort of setup as well so you're going to be able to keep applying that constant tick damage again with your child of the old gods or your grenade there weakening loads of yellow numbers and you can fire your lasting impression rocket launcher as well to get pretty much you're doing two two or three different types of damage damage outputs at a time and it does wreck tanky targets like that tank over there the brig's in this week's gm it's a really solid little addition if you want uh, definitely try and get a void lasting impression rocket launcher something like royal entry uh, tomorrow's answer i think they're the two that can roll lasting impressions and like i said it is like a really nice sort of addition to the build with the poison damage and the extra damage that you're getting from mantle of battle harmony and your font of might and everything like that so that's pretty much the build uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through my fragments and i'll also leave uh, a build card for my mods and everything like that that i'm running on the armor uh, i've gone through most of the mods already and i will also leave a dim link in the video description so stay tuned for the build card so these are the two aspects i run i run child of the old gods and feed the void feed the void is going to give us devour devour gives us loads of health back and it's going to give us massive chunks of our grenade energy also and uh with the monarch you've always got that devour going vortex grenade is the one that i choose i found this the best grenade without chaos accelerant i found this one does the most damage and the most consistent to get kills with uh, Best Glad, Healing Rift, I always run Healing Rift, especially for GMs. Echo of Remnants, your Lingering Grenade affects especially our Vortex going to have, have an extended duration, so that's why it's really nicely. Uh, if I'm not running Chaos Accelerant, that sort of makes up for it a little bit, and it, you're always going to get your grenade kills. I mean, you're obviously welcome to try other grenades if you wish, but I, I like, uh, I really like the Vortex Grenade. Echo of Undermining is the other one that I use, that just makes my grenades have a... 15% debuffing effect uh, weakens targets. That's a no-brainer to me. With a vortex grenade, it does a real lot of damage. Echo of instability. That's what we've touched on. We're going to get volatile rounds going all of the time, pretty much with vortex grenade. Because uh, with echo of remnants, it's pretty much guaranteed you're at least going to get a couple of kills. So you're going to have volatile rounds going all the time. And then echo of persistence is the last one. Void debuffs applied to you, especially the Valwed, are going to have an increased duration. And that's the full video. I'll leave a dim link in the video description. There's the build card. I'm going to leave this at the end of the video on every video that I do now. So you don't have to listen to that bit of me chirping on. You can just skip to the end. But the other one to sort of take note of would be bolstering detonation on the arms. That's going to give class ability every time we cause damage of our grenade. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.